Hey everyone, Ben back from Living Survival and today we're going to take a look at a great way to organize your gear in the bed of your truck. They make them for many different trucks. You can check their website out for your particular application. We're going to take a look at the decked drawer system. Alright, so continuing on with my ultimate survival truck build, I wanted to show you guys this drawer system from Decked. It comes in a package to your door and you assemble it. It's got a steel subframe and then polyethylene uh, panels that you put together and you can go on their website and see if they make one for your truck I have a Toyota Tacoma and it's the short bed they make them for short beds long beds and then if you have a full-size truck you'll get two of the larger size drawers since this is a smaller truck you get a large drawer and a smaller drawer but it fits right into the bed of your truck with minimal drilling so the only thing that attaches it to the truck is there's these little uh, hooks here that attach to your factory hooks. And then up front you uh, drill a plate. So the front is hooked with a plate that you can see there on both sides. And it's got the cutouts to fit around your factory eyelets. All heavy duty hardware heavy-duty everything it's a really really nice system it can hold 2,000 pounds on the top and then each drawer can hold 200 pounds so you have sort of this non skid surface here they do make a mat that you could put on that and so obviously it's going to vary depending on truck how it's installed and how it you know fits in there I have a little bit of room uh, between this and my cover so it does work when you have a cover you can see I've got a little bit of room in there. I can slide my stove in there. I can slide fishing poles, nets, you know, anything that'll fit in there I can slide. But you do obviously lose uh, the majority of your bed, about three quarters of your bed space. But you gain um, a weatherproof way to organize your gear. It also has uh, two ammo boxes on both sides. So these just pop out. And you've got more room for storage there. I don't have anything in these yet. I'm still sort of customizing it to my needs. That just snaps back in. On the front here, you've got a nice lip with a ruler on it, bottle opener, a couple little odds and ends, but everything about the drawers is super heavy duty. Again, polyethylene uh, material. It's got urethane wheels on it, so you got two wheels here, two wheels up front, and that makes the drawers slide out really easily. They slide out quite a bit. You do have to reach a little bit to get into the backside there, but everything slides really nicely. And when you slide it back in, it locks. You can also get locks for it, so you can lock this up. And really, as long as you have your tailgate up and locked, even without a bed cover on the truck, there's really no way that anyone can get anything out of here. I can reach in here and undo the drawer and it comes back that far. So unless somebody wants to grab my spices, there's really no way to grab anything out of there. And then again, you know, you can lock those drawers, lock your tailgate and uh, your stuff's gonna be really secure. So the sky's obviously the limit with what you can organize and store in these a lot of people use them for tools you know on the job they load these up with all their different tools you know hunting you could load firearms in here i have it set up for emergency and camping obviously so we can take a look at some of the things that i have in here as well as some of the optional components uh, that they have available you do get some of these free when you order your uh, decked system so in the larger drawer here, I have their little tool caddy here, the little caddy that fits right in and it locks in there so it's not going to slide around. I just keep uh, kitchen utensils and some wipes, a bunch of different spices, a lot of just odds and ends in here, but that is fully removable, which is cool. Then I have their D-bag. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but that slides right in here into the wider section of the... Uh, drawer you can see it's molded on the bottom to fit the molding on the drawer so that slides in there real nicely uh, in this bag i have my camp kitchen or my camp cookware 
it just zips out nicely so even if the drawer is you know slightly slid out i can still grab my stuff and you know with my pots and pans and stuff like that i want to keep those nice and clean so it's nice that it does zip all the way and nothing's going to get in there so in here i just have some camp kitchen type stuff cutting board uh, pot a couple different pots here um some of these uco bowls i've got a nalgene i've got my uh little cook stove little msr wind burner got just some of these flat fold bowls a couple different uh, cups in here a couple different mugs so you can pack quite a bit in there and there's still a ton of room in there i usually put paper towel in there maybe some toilet paper but it does come with straps so you can also put these straps on the back here and turn it into a backpack so maybe you have photo equipment or you know other types of equipment in there you can turn this into a backpack and take that with you which is really nice i keep the straps off because for the most part for now i just keep it right in the deck drawer system then in the back i have sort of my sleep system i have an extra sleeping bag an extra tarp a uh, tyvek ground sheet another camp chair and then back in here a bug tent so i have you know a separate shelter in there you can see these drawers are quite wide they do go the entire length of the bed which is cool now i don't have them with me today but i'll roll in some footage of them they do uh, include some dividers you can see the little notches here so you can put dividers in and divide your stuff up that way i just sort of leave them out they also do have two different toolboxes that come with the system one fits in the large uh, drawer and one fits in the smaller drawer i'll also roll in some footage of what those look like so with your purchase of a deck drawer system you get the tray that slips into the uh, wider drawer you also get two dividers for the wider drawer you get a small d box which is basically just a toolbox with a tray inside and then you get a large d box same thing it just has dividers on the inside the dividers just slip into several different spots along your tray allows you to organize your gear and keep it from rolling around if you don't have this thing completely full i have the uh, d bag in here so it keeps my things from rolling around now this is an additional purchase and this comes with the uh, duffel bag and the uh, tool pouch you can also put either the small toolbox into the uh, drawers or the large toolbox or the large toolbox fits as well so you know again just an extra layer of uh, protection and also some extra organization should you need it so that's kind of the camp kitchen drawer. Let's take a look at what I have in drawer number two. First off here, I have my bag that holds two camp chairs from Click. Love these chairs. Those fit in there. I have just a little electric pump for pumping up mattresses. I have a couple different gas canisters. I have a mini stove. Usually I bring my big stove, so I'm not sure why I have that in there, but I do. We've got a saw, We've got a Gerber uh, foldable shovel. Then in the back is a duffel that you get included with the D-bag if you buy it, the bag that I hold my camp cookware in. Uh, so this is just a duffel. Again, it's got the groove bottoms in here to, to uh, fit nicely um, in the uh, smaller drawer. I believe it fits in the larger drawer as well sideways so you can put it in here sideways as well if you'd like so in this duffel just have a few little odds and ends uh, as a part of this you also get a tool roll which is really cool i just obviously keep some tools in here i'm still building this out with some ratchets and sockets and things that uh, go for my particular vehicle but it has this uh button a flap here with some slots here so you could put some uh, wrenches in there which is cool which i'm going to fill that up with 
Again, wrenches that uh, I use for my vehicle. Then you have two zippered compartments. In here I just have some sockets, some wire cutters, vice grips, a little stubby screwdriver, uh, some Nipex pliers. Again, I'm st still kind of just building this out. And then the next uh, zippered compartment in here I have uh, some Gorilla Tape, a little butane torch, some super glue, uh, a little razor blade, and then some Torx bits that go along with the socket. So I'll probably do a future video on this when I get it all loaded up with the additional tools. And then the rest of the stuff in here is I have some heavy duty bungees and I have some ratchet straps. And this is probably where I'll put any kind of recovery equipment. I am planning on getting a winch on a front bumper. So then I'll have a snatch strap and um, different odds and ends for that recovery kit. But that's the duffel bag. And then you can see it's the same length as the wider drawer. It's just a little bit narrower. And that's going to depend on your particular truck. So with pretty much anything out there, there's going to be pros and cons. The pros for me, obviously, is that it gives me a weatherproof way to store my gear. A nice, easy-to-use platform that I can just roll out the drawers. I can set my stove here, and I can still access my camp cookware. Uh, it fits nicely in the bed of my truck. I'm sure it fits nicely in the bed of most trucks with minimal drilling. Again, you just have one anchor point here, one anchor point there, and then two anchor points that you drill into the fender up front. It's super heavy duty. You can hold 2,000 pounds on top. Uh, cons obviously are that you lose a lot of bed space. So if you are a person that needs a lot of bed space, then you know this isn't going to be the system for you. However, I may remove the tonneau at some point and then put either a soft top on or at least put a higher rack system on that will allow me to put more gear in here, like an extra propane tank. Uh, saws, you know, all the extra stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else that I would use my truck bed for, I can gain that back by putting a soft top on or a hard top um, or a rack system and then I could store things uh, on top without the tonneau cover. Overall, it's a secure and weatherproof way to organize all your gear and I love it. So leave me a comment below and let me know if you like the deck system and what you would store in it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me. I will leave links to Decked in the description below. Make sure you share this video to any friends or family who might be interested on your social media. And click that red subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos.